Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a 15 minutes cardio workout that's not too high intensity and also not too low, which makes it really great for burning fat. This workout is going to help you to get closer to that slim legs and also flat belly. So you guys did amazing with my flat belly program and I'm so freaking proud. So I'm going to challenge you to do the same with this program. So don't stop sharing your progress and keep supporting one another because that's what really helps others out there. Now two important notes you can find a full schedule and meal ideas over here and do follow me on Instagram and share your progress using my hashtag so I can check you guys out. So to help me to keep creating free programs for you, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, smash it real hard and drop me a comment as well as this really helps to make my videos to reach out to more people out there. So we've got 24 no jumping exercises today, 30 to 60 seconds on with no rest time in between. Not as hard as it sounds, let's do this. We're starting with high knee much. It's just like a regular high knee, except we are taking it slow. Although this workout is not high intensely, your heart rate is going to be at the optimal range for burning fat. This workout is super great for burning fat, especially if you do it fasted. Let's get those lean legs and flat abs. Next, we have lateral step crunch. Take a big step to the right and crunch. Remember to engage that core as you crunch. We've got shuffle and touch ground next. Don't jump, just shuffle. This is definitely going to bring your heart rate up. Really love this exercise. Next, we have a full minute of side kicks, but I like calling them ninja kicks. Hiya! This workout is really great to keep your heart rate at a good range to help you to keep burning fat as long as you keep up with the pace and do it in good form. Now we are doing lateral steps again, but instead of punches, we are doing feet taps. So work on those inner thighs. Remember to take a big step to the left or to the right. Front kicks are next, do it controlled and don't lock your knees. Really great for lower abs too. Crunches are next, make sure you squeeze that abs as you crunch. Next, we've got a minute of skater with arm swing. Bring one leg back behind and then take a step to the left or right. You can go lower if you want to work your legs a little bit more. 
And also remember to draw a ribbon with your arms to just add a little bit more intensity to it. Next we've got knee pull and we'll start with the left leg first. Start with your leg diagonally behind you, so about 45 degrees angle and as you pull your knees in, be sure to squeeze that abs too. onto the other side. Next we'll have a minute of shuffle and crunch. Stay safe when you're doing this guys. Next we have wood choppers and a crunch and we'll start on the left side first. Start with both of your arms extended to the right and then bring them in and at the same time bring your left knee up and crunch. This is so great for your abs. onto the other side. Next we have step back and crunch. Take a big step on this side then bring your leg back in and crunch. onto the other side.
All right, we're done with different variations of crunches. Now time for some crab walks. Squat down slightly as you walk side to side like a crab. Make sure your feet are pointing outwards so you're working more of your inner thighs. Next, we have a minute of slow burpees. If you're doing a HIIT workout and get tired of burpees, you can always do this slow burpee version, which is easier but it is still going to bring your heart rate up. Next, we have 45 degrees kicks. Work those inner thighs and outer thighs, guys. Single leg toe touches are next. Remember to squeeze that core as you lift your legs. Ninja kicks are next. We are almost near the end, guys. Keep it up. We're doing skater with arm swings again, but just 30 seconds this time. Reach and tap is next. Reach forward with your arms and touch your foot with your hand as you bring your leg up. Now onto the other side. Mm -hmm. 
Now on to our last exercise, we've got oblique crunch and we've got a full minute of this. Try to have your elbow touch your leg. And that's the workout guys, great work! Don't forget to smash the like button and keep going with the program to get those leaner legs. Do leave a comment with how you went and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!